This image must be familiar to lots of people. Painted by Frank Moss Bennett, a prolific artist, illustrator, and this type of subject in his work was reproduced into uh, numerous uh, reproductions and cards and so on. And in fact, on the Antiques Roadshow, we see enormous numbers of his works reproduced. It belonged to my grandfather, and when he died in 1934, my father, who was uh, grandfather's son-in-law, purchased it from the estate for £60, because he liked it. And uh, when my father died, it, and my mother, it in due course came to me. It's rather elegant and rather a stately group of figures. I sometimes feel that I wouldn't have minded living in that age myself. Um, but it was a happy childhood memory to me. Yes. But did it have uh, the rest of the frame? Because, of course, oh, it, it, had never a, yet, it had a large, heavy gilt frame. It I was thought, in yeah. a very large, wide, posh frame. Yes. Which I think, as children, we might well have smashed up. Yes. Like, but it was in a very ornate frame, yes. 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 It's quite interesting when you say you would have liked to live at that time, thinking of the elegant figures. I mean, what time are we actually talking about? Ah, oh, well, I, I'm guessing Regency. Yes, I mean, it's one of these curious paintings. I mean, the date here, the signature, Bennett, 1930. But we're looking at a costume which really goes back to a much earlier period, I mean, it goes back into the 18th century. So it's yeah. a kind of, it's a mixture of times and values yes, and so yes. on. Um, the card game itself, I think the interplay of the four people who've played cards, I think is fascinating, as you've obviously found. Yes. This rather, <clears throat> as you say, statesman-like figure and elegant figure here, working out just what, who's won and who's <laughs> lost, it is absolutely brilliantly painted. Mm -hmm. um, I think what I love about it is the background, the way that it's rather thinly yes. painted. And then, yes. with more building up of the paint surfaces, Beautiful drapery, and then the sleeves here and the, and the, and the cuffs. Yes. But when we go through to the far side of the picture and we see in the fireplace, I think that is particularly well observed. And then the chimney piece, um, that detail, if somebody wasn't a very good painter, it would have become so elaborate and meticulous that it would have actually almost thrown itself forward from the picture. But in somehow he's got all the detail and it's still sublimated to the main subject. It sits comfortably in the background. Mm, yes, yes. And, uh, I mean, it's immensely skillful. Mm. But then, of course, we come on to its value. I mean, you said something, was it 60 guineas or 60 pounds? 60 pounds, as yes. far as I remember. Yes. I think it's a very, very good painting by him, that it's worth probably five to seven thousand pounds. Really? And might even be worth more. Good Lord.